Welcome to episode 9 of our Antarctica and Falklands vlog series. Please subscribe to our channel and select the bell to receive notifications of our new content. Thank you. Before we explored the shore, a member of the Port Lockeroy staff came aboard to talk about their mission and history. And thank you everybody for coming along this morning. Um, so as Juan mentioned, I live at Port Lockeroy at the moment and I work for the UK Antarctic Heritage Trust. This is our flagship site and that's the site that you will be visiting today, um, which was named after a Parisian nightclub. And the purpose of Operation Tabarin was to sort of further a British territorial claim to this area of the peninsula. We were doing a lot of research in communications and also a lot of meteorological research. Um, but this meteorological research was halted sort of quite quickly after it was started when they discovered that Port Lockroy has quite a unique microclimate. So the research that they were doing wasn't necessarily applicable to other areas. So I'll go on to tell you a little bit now about what was like, life was like on the base back in the day and then also what life is like on the base now. So a few things that you'll notice about this picture. Uh, first of all is that there is a pig. Uh, pigs are not usually found at Port Lockroy, um, but this pig was brought down to be re reared to be eaten. Um, and they pet named the pig, pig, not very inventive. Um, but all of the men actually became quite attached to the pig over the course of its life. And when it came to the time to eat the pig, a lot of the men refused. Um, and one of the men even had a picture of the pig on his mantelpiece back home beside pictures of his family. Um, so this is somewhat how it looks just now, um, give or take a couple of meters of snow. Um, so this is roughly what you can expect to see when you come to Port Lockroy today. So the building in the foreground of the picture there is the old boat shed. Um, so of course where they would have stored boats. Uh, we don't have a boat on island anymore, unfortunately. So that is where we keep all of our food now. Um, and in the building up the back left, that is Bransfield House or Base A. And so this was the building that was originally set up during Operation Tabarin and became the first permanently occupied um, British site in Antarctica. The staff do not live in this building, but maintain it as a working museum. What is now a museum and store began in 1944 as Branfield House, named after the ship initially chartered to transport members of Operation Tabarin here from the UK.
Operation Tabarin was the code name for the secret British World War II expedition to the Antarctic, whose main mission was to strengthen the British sovereignty claims of the Falkland Islands dependencies, territory of which Chile and Argentina also made claims during the war. Britain successfully accomplished their mission essentially by simply being here and working, establishing bases, postal services, and performing scientific research. Spend time with the penguins next. Like most parents, penguins are very protective of their young, and they need to be. Birds tend to hover when there's an opportunity to steal an egg. the parents were quite determined to keep this bird away.
oh, how these lovelies like to steal rocks from their neighbors. It would be expedition historian Peter Domish who gave me the equivalent of an Antarctic dad joke. You know where they're going? I don't. Penguin fire and krill. Like it. Port Lockroy. Very cool. Kind of cool to see all the old stuff. Mm -hmm. Lots of nearby. Old stuff, you and me, me. The museum park. We're to the call. Highlights from a submarine excursion is next. Still in Port Lockroy, I went for a submarine dive. If you try for this excursion, keep in mind, all participants must be able to climb into the sub without assistance.
We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the thumbs up button. Thank you. In our next episode, we explore Coverville Island, Deception Island, sail the Drake Passage, and have an overnight in Ushuaia. Thank you for watching.